Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I am making custom pen blanks. I was recently contacted to make those two writing instruments and since I don't have the wood on hand, I thought it's a great idea for a video to show you how I do things. Like everything else that I do, everything begins with a layout and this time the layout is on a piece of paper, so let's see it. Uh, so basically these represent the sizes of the wood that I need. Uh, the, the horizontal lines represent the actual thickness of the wood that I have. Uh, and those marks right here represent the outermost edges of the actual finished pen. Uh, the dotted line represents the center, which I am hoping that once everything is done, I would be able to drill right at the center, but you know, we'll see there's always a margin of error there. And once I know this, I began to experiment with placing the slanted lines, which would represent the contrasting wood ring, uh, to see how it looks. And I found these are the best measurements. Now, the easiest way to do this is, you know, cut everything at the right angle, take a little piece of plain wood and stick it in there and glue everything back together. But the problem with that is you are exposing some of the end grain of the contrasting wood. And once you start sanding, and in particular the higher grits, you tend to fill the end grain with that little sawdust that you cannot get out uh, later on. And once you put in the finishing oil, the contrasting wood basically is in the end grain, so it doesn't look very contrasty. So what I'm going to do this time is make it a little bit more difficult and ensure that the entire blank consists of the long grain of the wood. So that involves a little bit more cutting and a little bit more gluing and a little bit more planning. I'm going to be doing things in two steps. Uh, so I'm going to be cutting out the outermost uh, rings first and gluing them. And the same thing with the cross ring, I'm just going to glue one side, cut and glue one side. And then I'm going to cut the innermost rings and glue them. So that way everything's going to be ready at roughly about the same time. So without further ado, uh, let's see how the process goes. So the first cuts are done and now it's time to glue them before I proceed with the other ones. Of key importance was this little sacrificial piece of wood that uh, one side is cut at 90 degree and the other one at 30 degree with a double sided tape at each side. And that way I was able to simply pick out all the cut pieces as they come off the table saw so that they don't get damaged in the process. I'm going to be doing the gluing uh, using the same method that I was using in one of my previous videos about fixing broken wood. So I will see you shortly. First round of gluing is done and it's all right here. We're going to do the reveal in about two hours. I'm just going to give it a little bit of extra time for the glue to cure. Uh, notice that I didn't do the cross pattern yet and that's because I want to preserve the angle the saw blade currently is. Uh, I mean, I have a tool that tells me the angle pretty much bang on, but you know, once the tool is set, I just want to reuse it as much as possible. So once I do the second rings for this particular piece, then I'm going to turn the blade to 45 degrees and begin doing the cross pattern. Uh, for now, let's uh, leave it be and we'll be back in two hours for the review.
So my memory card got full and some of the footage is definitely lost. So here is a little summary of what happened. So here are the uh, initial uh, 30 degree angle cuts for the rings that I've done. Uh, there was nothing much to it. Uh, as you remember, I did the outside first and then I did the inside ones. There is absolutely no problem. And now they are ready to be converted to the pen. The 45 degree cross has been more challenging than I thought. Uh, initially, when I did the initial gluing, uh, I got a separation right here at this portion. Uh, so the small brown piece uh, got separated from the rest, then I glued it, uh, and I also had a little misalignment. And when I tried to do something with it, then the other part got uh, disassembled as well. Um, so I started with a fresh blank. The problem with the 45 degree ones is the angle of the blade. It's a lot steeper angle of the blade, so getting your fingers close, especially to pick up the few tiny pieces like these, is definitely very risky. Uh, even this didn't quite help, that little tool that I got. Uh, it worked well for the 30 degree, not so much for the 45, because any type of movement that I did, this is a better example, any type of movement that I did, it kind of scorched the wood and um, that didn't make any uh, proper flat lines to, to glue with. So here I am doing it, uh, a, a sample layout, and you can see the gap right here. So that is definitely not going to hold anything. So I did a few drastic steps and that was put in a double sided tape right here where the cut line is so that when I cut a particular piece, it kind of still gets stuck where it is. And I didn't have to worry about movement of my left hand with this little tool. And that uh, seemed to do the trick. Now it is gluing. And in about two hours, I'm going to do the other cut and glue the other piece. So I'm hoping this is going to be the final gluing of the, uh, of the blanks. So it is time to do the reveal now, and uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous considering everything else that happened. So let's take this one step at a time. Yeah, this is close to perfect. Uh, there is no gap, no misalignment in here or in here. Uh, so I'm just going to clean up some of the surfaces and then take it to the table saw. So the next shot would be me cutting the second piece away. So I'm here doing a little bit of alignment and I see the back side all looks good but the front side is somewhat misaligned and even you can see right here this particular piece is uh, not aligned properly so what i'm going to be doing is replacing the double-sided tape that sits on this side of the sacrificial fence and just take slivers of wood until this piece this diagonal piece right here is somewhat aligned let's get to it After the first attempt, it's getting pretty close to being perfect. Maybe another minor pass and that would be it for it. I don't want to take too much, otherwise it's going to completely ruin it. And now it's time to do the review. Just like before, I am slightly nervous as to what may come out. So let's check it out. And this is it, a perfect fit, I must say.
If you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video uploads. Also, follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on Patreon. All the links are down in the description.